videos everyone has been saying how long they have felt january it's like the beginning of the year it's just so slow i'm personally like very appreciative for how slow and long january has been because i have spent january starting a new job resting doing completely nothing starting school um resting again reorganizing attempting to i did most of my reorganizing this past weekend but i felt like it has been long enough for me to do nothing but also like wake up and be like crap it's almost february girl it's time to get your life together so that is the basis of today's video this video is all about me getting my life together me starting my 2023 i am starting it february 1st like for me january has been just a pause button now we're gonna press play on february 1st so to do that i am going to set up a paper planner i've done a lot of different planner versions i am like a full planner addict type of girl virgo energy mainly um and so i'm gonna set up a paper planner I'm going to revamp my Google Calendar. I use that primarily for like actual appointment setting, time by time, hour by hour, my different calls, but also um, different time blocking that I need to do. So if this is time I need to study, this is time I need to do self care, time for socializing and date night, like I time block everything on there so I know what I'm doing at all times. Um, and lastly i'm gonna set up a new notion um i don't know if it's called a board a page whatever and that's gonna be where i do my project management um there i'm gonna do like a kanban type of system that is just simply a way that you organize your task um commonly it's organized with like a column for to do's a column for in progress and completed but there are a million variations to that um but i'm probably going to keep it more on the traditional side so i'm going to walk y'all through those things today if you are new here i'm Brittany city i chat about tech fashion lifestyle anything else that i can think of this year we're going to be heavy on productivity we are going to achieve our goals we're going to feel good about ourselves and feel like we are being productive with our time um so that's like a big big thing i'm on right now is my productivity and it's just easy for me to feel like oh my gosh overwhelmed when i'm doing so many different things i thought about getting a whiteboard but i don't think that's exactly what i need it's just more like i need somewhere to just put all my madness together and i'm really hoping this paper planner can do that for me um i have used a lot of different planners in the past let me know if you're interested in some type of planner review video i'm not gonna throw any of my previous planners away um because they are great and definitely will be great for me to do a review on um but i did decide to do a cloth and pipe i cannot talk today a cloth and paper planner this year because it will allow me to combine a lot of different areas of my life into one as you know when we buy planners just from the store we're stuck with the sections that they want us to put in them so um last year i feel like previous years i've had some great planners but i've always had like a notion board or somewhere else that i was trying to hold like my finances or hold my content or hold like a lot of different things and everything was sitting in different places and i like the idea of just having it all in this cloth and paper planner here is the cover i ended up going with white um they have a black color that um is this type of like grainy type of leather was out of stock but they have like a quilted one that's in stock that is cute too but i decided to go with this i feel like it matches kind of my office and another thing i'm really excited about is just like being able to step away from this desk away from my computer even away from my laptops and like just really just plan you know like have a little cup of coffee or wine or a cocktail on my bartesian and just get my life together you know from month to month and different things so i'm excited about that 
um this is a black owned brand and this is my first time purchasing from them actually and this stuff is very very great quality already can tell this is how the planner looks um i was looking in my um on louis vuitton at their agendas a lot of the cloth and paper girlies have that but i want to prove to myself that i can use this system before i go and buy a whole thousand dollar agenda cover um so for right now this is great and it's great quality too so no regrets this is the box that it came in so of course i received like a larger brown box it had the um branding on there as well but i thought this box was great i got two of them one for the planner one for all the inserts inside the planner has this kind of dust cover which is so nice i mean this is giving louis vuitton vibes very very nice dust cover and all the inserts came with this kind of dust cover which i can definitely reuse this for a lot of things i mean this is a cute toiletry bag travel bag love the little drawstring on it inside it has there is luxury and simplicity and i love that and i totally agree with that that is like their logo or their slogan and the planner also came in this white box as well so packaging a1 um i received from them i spent about i did use a coupon code but i want to say it came up to like 370 ish something like that got this pin for free thank you got this sticky note set has like page flags and sticky notes and they're in like this taupe kind of color i got bookmarks in this taupe kind of color as well um i do also have some from amazon i'll show y'all and i can link in um, the description if you're interested um they sent my receipts with these cute little cards with um just kind of italian words on it um this i'm not sure exactly what this is and i hope i didn't pay for it i don't think i did but i'm thinking about using this to hold my receipts it's tax time and i definitely want to be better about um storing my receipts this grocery meal planner set and i'm gonna do a flip through of everything after i put it all in there i got an inbox this inbox is um for it's kind of like your dashboard like the front of your planner where you can stick sticky notes there you can put your to-do list and things right there some people actually use it like dry erase i'm not gonna do that but some people do i got a project management set now i know i just talked about using notion for project management this i'm thinking about using for home projects um I, this year is all about like really getting this house ready for me to leave it so i um, have a lot of different home projects i have some home projects that are meant for like me right now like some decor kind of projects but then i also do have some projects for like prepping the home for a future um, renter or something next i have weekly admin this is um a, just kind of your traditional weekly planner kind of page now i am gonna stick to my hour by hour on my google calendar so i I'm not I can't honestly remember why I got this one but I'm gonna try to figure out a way to use it because I do like the habit tracker on it but I just don't I feel like I was supposed to get a different one to be honest but we're gonna see this is the dated monthly and um, this is like your traditional when you think about a monthly planner and I'm hoping that this also has some pages in it I know it had like some notes pages related to the month. It has important dates. It has notes. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought. So I don't know if I was supposed to get that weekly one. We'll see. Um, but it has like an area for your goals for the month, your intentions, and your bills. Of course, I also have a budgeting and finance section this is something i'm excited about because i am saving my coin this year y'all i'm not playing like i have a couple of things on my wish list but i'm we saving this year too so 
Um, I like this and it just it's going to be so helpful to have everything in one place versus me using Notion for one thing and planning for other things. I like it all in one place. I have two like dividers. You know how planners roll. This is all the months and this is um, the schedule notes and lists and finance section. I'm going to see how bulky it gets. You know, I mentioned, um, I don't know if I actually mentioned to y'all. I know I've been talking about it on my story on Instagram, but I read 12 week year and I highly, highly recommend y'all read it as well. Love that book so much. And it really talks against like annualized thinking. So thinking about our goals and our life and everything in a january to december type of format like a very it has to be done with within this format within this time frame um this is the only time i set goals is january the only time i do reflections is december let's not do that right so if you want to start your year on your birthday if you want to start it on february 1st with me then let's do it um so i'm thinking about putting only three months in my planner um, at a time that's gonna help it not be as bulky but also keep me on my 12 week year and that way at the end because the book even talks about which we do this already kind of in December and January but at the end of your 12 week period you can do reflections so you can talk about what were your wins what did you lose what could you you know room for improvement all those types of things you can do at the end of each 12 weeks and how amazing will that be you being able to do that four times a year or or three to four or whatever within the time frame that you normally did it one time so that's what I love about it I'm like really excited to do that and um, also just a way of really thinking about your goals and the way we accomplish our goals in that way I think that when you look forward at a full year it's easy to be overly ambitious I'm, I'm speaking for myself easy to be overly ambitious and say I'm gonna lose you know a hundred pounds and I'm gonna save a hundred thousand dollars like it's just you looking at the year ahead and it's easy to do that and i feel like when you're thinking about okay what can we really do in 12 weeks what can we really make shape looking at my calendar looking at what i already have in front of me looking at my current finances looking at everything together which is what i'm hoping to do with this whole setup today um, I'm going to be able to really make realistic goals for those 12 weeks. Now, of course, pushing ourselves and not limiting ourselves, but also just really setting ourselves up for success. That's the goal for today. So I'm going to set up the planner. I'm really going to step away from in front of this camera. Um, I'm going to really angle it towards my desk and my computer, do the planner, set it up, flip through. And then we'll hop to my computer for Notion and Google Calendar. So I'll be back. It is time to set up my Google Calendar. Well, it's already set up, but it's time to revamp it. So um, I've already went ahead and changed all the colors. These colors are coming from a palette I found on coolers.com. Um, C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot co actually, not dot com, dot co. Um, you can generate tons of different color palettes. Just press the space bar and it will create color palettes for you. Um, I also went over here to explore and kind of started off with one of the color palettes that I saw that was kind of a vibe that I liked. 
Um, and you can actually, in between each color, like I already knew that I had eight categories. So you want eight colors, right? Or what, whatever many categories you have, you want the many colors. So first, identify your categories that you have of life. And I'll go through mine in a second. But um, you can actually click between the colors and it can add more colors. Um, I try to stay away from colors that were too similar. Like these last three are real similar. Um, because you want to be able to differentiate. So that's why mine is like super colorful. Um, because I want to be able, I wanted it to be like on some type of cohesive palette, but I also wanted to be able to differentiate. I didn't want it to be all like monochromatic. What's the point of having it then? Um, so I identified these different categories. Personal is like self-care, that's appointments, whether it's beauty appointments, health appointments, things like that. Content is filming content typically, um, but it could be planning content too. But I would say most likely it's when I'm actually filming content. Social is social or date night. So when I'm out with my friends, out with my boyfriend, out with my family, anything kind of socializing. Um, when you think parties, events like that. Um, class and research are literal times that I'm in class, Mondays and Thursdays, but also um, times where I'm meeting with my research team. Um, workout, like it sounds, working out, which I need to do more of, um, but that's going to be my literal Pilates appointments I need to put in here, and then also just times I need to go to the gym um, if I don't have an appointment which I'm trying to do Pilates and then go to the gym, like do some kind of cardio or come back home and get on the bike. That's the plan right now. Um, and then here where it has the Black Codes event team meeting, if you are in Nashville, the Black Codes is an organization for black people in tech. Um, we have our team meeting on Wednesdays. Um, that is actually the color of my invites. So if someone invites me to something, put something on my calendar, then it will be that color. For whatever reason, I can't change it. I kind of could, but it would look like I say no. Like if I were to delete it, it's going to look like I did an RSVP and or I'm denying it or whatever, whatever. Maybe not, but for right now, that's just how it's going to do. And especially... Um, when people just automatically throw something, you know, it kind of already throws it on your calendar before you RSVP. I want it to just be that color. Then I can decide what category I want to put it in. Um, tech chat, I'm actually changing the tech office hours coming soon. Um, but that's, I've already have like a Calendly link where people can chat with me about tech. And so I have that up here on this calendar in that color. Um, but I also plan to do some type of thing on social media, maybe going live, um, maybe doing a tech, um, either doing a Twitter space or whatever around office hours as well, and then work. So um, those are my colors. Those are my categories. And um, a lot of items like, you know, I'm just going to kind of quickly sh show a few of them. First, let me actually show you how to create the calendars. So after you identify your categories in your life, you think about, okay, I do this, I do that, kind of group some things together. Um, where it has other calendar calendars, you can click the plus symbol and you can create a new calendar. There, you can create a new calendar, YouTube, create calendar in progress. You see it appear here on the side uh, for under settings. So you already have it. And then you'll have it here. So if we plan something that day is already passed. We plan something, uh, filming, and then we can here assign it to the calendar YouTube. Save, and it will appear in that color. Now to change the color, you can click these three, the little ellipses, and go to all of these colors, which you can click on and you can pick one of those, but you can also add a custom color, clicking this plus symbol, and you can add the hex code. And so I got the hex codes from here. There's actually a copy hex button that you can use and you can just paste it. 
to change the color, which that ended up being really pretty. Um, but yeah, and then if you want to remove some, you can just simply use this X here, unsubscribe, remove. Um, you can also, um, like for work, I have Outlook calendars. So um, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to import. No, I'm not. <coughs> I want to say in the past I've done from URL and so there's a URL link that you can find within Outlook um, under settings that will correspond with the calendar only thing with that is that you are like subscribing to a calendar and so it does not update live iCal for instance it updates live like right now on iCal I already have work meetings already set up on there I prefer to use Google Calendar because of my categories but you can see here um, you can import Google Calendar to this calendar your iCal um, after the fact and you can see the colors a little bit um, but it, it just integrates a little easier I will say and I'm still team Google Calendar but it does slightly like if you are using Outlook now Google if you're just strictly in Google stay in Google but if you are using um, Outlook I do feel like it works a little faster here because when you're using Apple Calendar you know you're um, you're basically signing in to all your different logins right so it's going to be a lot, um, you know, it's a lot faster and it's a lot more like you're just signed in. You're not really subscribing to someone else's calendar. Here, Google is like, you're already a calendar. So if you want these others from URL and all that, you must be trying to look at someone else's calendar. That's just how I take it. So um, I'm going to start off with school because I am in school if you're new to Google Calendar, we can walk through one. Um, so you can create event and I'm going to call it MSDS 575. That's the class I'm in right now. I'm going to put it in the category class and research. And it actually started on the 9th. I'm going to go all the way back. Um, and... I have class from 5.30 p.m. to about 8 o'clock. Um, and then it repeats custom because it's Mondays and Thursdays of each week. Uh, that class does end. I don't even have my calendar stuff with me, but it does end. Hmm. What is that? One, two, three, four. Hmm, it might be ending soon. I'm going to throw it here, but I think we're just in class for five weeks. Save. And so then you see, I have that on my calendar now. Um, I also have like a Teams link for that and all that that I can add as well. You can do that later. Um, what's some other like reoccur? Well, we got Galentine's coming up. I'll add Galentine's to my calendar, and that's gonna be. I'm, I say it's seven thirty. Hopefully, they come on time. And so that's Galentine's, and I'm gonna set that to social. That's Galentine's. Um. I need to make a nail appointment, but I have not yet, so I don't have anything for that. Um, it's late as heck right now. Let me put <laughs> 845 to hopefully not that long, let's say, um, get in my life video. So yeah, this is just some examples of how I do it.
um, work tech chat my tech chat is automatically synced with my Calendly that's gonna happen on its own um, work is gonna be just synced with my work calendar um, class and research so I just did that we do have a 1 to 1 um, research call that happens every week and I'm gonna put a class and research um, need to figure out the appointments um, I threw a social thing on there and then I have like I have like the love Pilates classes because they book so fast that I was like I'm not playing with y'all and I booked my whole month of crap I got a class tomorrow morning ah, I have a class tomorrow morning oh my gosh I'm screwed I have a class tomorrow morning. I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to go to bed. So let's just do this. Let me know if you want a part two after I'm done because I'm about to be zooming through this real quick. Um, but let's just go ahead and add the Pilates class for tomorrow on my calendar. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I booked like so many of them. Because I was like, I'm not playing with y'all. Like, y'all got to fit me in a class. Because I done paid. Um, so, I went ahead and just went through the whole month. Because really, like, I'm probably squeezing into that one. Because I put it for 8 to 9. And I hope that that's going to be okay. Because I definitely have a 10 o'clock meeting. Um, but... Yeah, it's just going to have to be okay. Um, cause I have a 10 o'clock meeting, but, um, after that, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm on the wait list. Honestly, like I'm on a wait list. I'm first in line, but I'm on the wait list for a good amount of days. Like I didn't really like book out the month, book out the month until this weekend. So huh, I like the Pilates class, don't get me wrong, but that is a downside is to any of these type of class things. That's a downside. Orange Theory been through that. It's it's really a downside to any of these um, types of things. Okay, so that is my Google Calendar, kind of what I do. Um, I'm going to have to like really fill this in, fill this in. Tomorrow, we getting our life together. Now let's get started with Notion. Notion is such a powerful tool. I love Notion. I'm going to quickly just show y'all um, the setup of what I'm thinking about doing with Notion. Um, not the full like nitty gritty um, of everything, but Creative Market is such a cool website it has tons of like graphics fonts if you are starting a business entrepreneur you need a logo you can find something here i mean full websites like websites that you can then just import upload to squarespace different Wix, those types of things everything is on here you can search notion find tons of dashboards that might fit your style what you're looking for student planners financial planners clients social media planners i mean everything is on here very similarly etsy has everything you can look for as well um i ended up getting mine from etsy and it came with um after you download from either one you'll get like a page that'll give you the link for um how to set it up and so this time it was on a word doc sometimes it's a pdf same thing when you click on that link a notion page will appear this is like their site this is the um, page that you paid for 
all its glory um, and you just want to press duplicate and duplicate that to your notion so you want to go ahead and already have notion set up you know have a login all those types of things so that when you press duplicate it just goes straight to your notion I'm going to hop into my notion here um, and what I did looks very similar to theirs. Of course, I'm in like a lighter mode, um, but it looks like theirs. I'm eventually going to change this cover, simple as clicking change cover, and you can upload images. I'm going to upload some images here as well, probably go on Pinterest and uh, replace these, but they're cool for right now. Um, I removed that middle section. Um, some of the things were too like planner like for me and remember we're not going to reinvent the wheel I have a planner now I don't want this to be like a planner planner space this is truly just project management for the Kanban um, system that I was telling you about so here I'm going to have um, what I'm thinking is this would be a nice area to have maybe projects or maybe um, those categories. So not necessarily, um, yeah, this is, here I would have the category. So work, and in this case, work in school. Like that's the main ones I'm gonna focus on right now. So I would have work in school here, and those would be corresponding categories of my different tasks that I have. Um, and I'm trying to think, sorry. Yeah, yeah, let's just do it like that. So, um, I don't know if it should be called project or if it should be called category. I don't know. I'm going to come back to that. But for right now, for you to get the gist, um, Notion is all about da um, databases. It's data, which is probably why I like it. Um, it's all databases. And so you essentially are building one main, main database. You can have multiple, but the key is to really have like one database and everything is built off of that. But it's just different ways that you're slicing and dicing it filtering it, different things to show you what you want in that certain space. And so to add a database, I'll just go ahead and kind of add one for you to see the steps I took. But anywhere that you hover around, you see you have all these plus signs when you hover around every areas. And so if you click that, it will give you options for what you can put there. So you could do basic blocks, which is like text or a page, to-do list, bulleted list, tables, dividers, like things for visual, media, bookmarks, audio, blah, blah, blah. But here you have the database section. And if you add the database um, type, you can change it up. We'll see. But this is essentially how you can create or work with an existing database. So I start off with the table view. Table view is essentially like how you can create your database. This is a table view. It will say table up top to let you know. And um, even when you click on it, like show by default, it will show the database title. So this is database projects. And I added these columns. So task, status, due date, category. You can click this plus symbol to add new properties or columns to your database. And if you do anything like select, which that's what this is, then you will have a set of options that it can take. And so anytime that you click within that column, it's going to have all the available options. The similarly in category, it's a drop down, so it has options. Due date is a calendar type, so a calendar will appear for you to add the due date. Task is a... Um, it's like a titles of different pages and um, that's going to be cool because now each of my tasks which I could actually name on projects uh, task project is kind of going to be the same thing um, 
or is it? Yeah, I'll just I'll just keep that as the project because I can open it up and here is the page corresponding with that. I'm actually going to rename that to project um, because this now is going to be the page and all the properties that you want to have associated from the table are going to be there on that page. But you can also come below and you can click that add symbol and I can add different things. So if I just wanted to type notes here, notes, 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 notes. But if you want to add a to-do list, then you could um, connect data source, um, create cards. Like you can do a to-do list that is associated with the project. Cool. Um, and then for this one, I'm going to set it, let's just say in progress. And this is also work. Let's say that this is due Thursday. This is due Monday. This is just for demonstration purposes, kind of. Um, and let me delete that one. So this, if you see the title, it says due this week. So this would be the same exact data, but we are filtering it to where we only see what is due this week. We do that by clicking this filter, due date, and we say due date is within this week. So now I only see my same table visual of my database, but only was due this week. I'm going to hide the database title just for sleekness. Under project task, I can click this add button and I can go down to, let's say the Kanban. That's what I've been talking about is this Kanban view. So they call it board view. And it's going to ask for what is your data source to build this. We're using the projects database. That's the same database from here. So when I add that here, and I'm going to edit my view because it ended up doing table again, but we want board. So now in our board view, we have that Kanban vibe because we already had, um, and you'll also see, so the layout is board, but it's being grouped by status. Group by status. So it's gonna ask you which of your properties columns again from your table that you want to be your grouping for your board and we want to group them by status. I'm going to rearrange them so that it makes sense. So so you have to do you have in progress external dependencies and done. Um and I guess done is, I like to be in progress, it's starting with dependencies. Uh, I'm going to delete external dependencies. Sometimes you do have them. Um, and then I'm just going to hide that, like if it doesn't have a group, hide. Okay, so. So then you see the Domo dashboard, but that's all we see. But I would like to also see the category that they belong to, especially when I start having a lot of things on here. And so you can actually go to properties. And right now we only have one property that is being shown on the board, but I'm going to drag the category and the due dates up there as well. So it's also shown on the board. I don't want it to only show what's due this week, so I'm going to clear this filter. It just came when I um, copied it over. But now you can see how easy it truly is. And so this is the project task. I'll have them right there. I can move them over. Boom, boom, boom. This you can see what's due this week. Um, and then here, the goal 
for work and school is to again basically show the database um, but filter it to where it's only showing um, the categories work and then the other one the category would just be school and then that way if I want um, this is a like an easy way for me to like brain dump all within like one category of all the things I need to do um, or all like the projects and stuff I have um, so for this I'm gonna rename it to project and um, and I guess like things can be mini projects too like they can be baby projects so like for instance um, also um, like creating a mock of a dashboard based on making a mock of a dashboard based on like the data um, like just I don't have access to the data fully yet so I just have like the schema but like just using like what those column names are and what I've learned from some meetings mocking up a dashboard for a completely different thing which like technically I can do in like 30 minutes an hour but I would just name it a project so that's cool so really the only thing to do is just like edit some of these photos and um, and on notes I think I'll keep it but um, I just don't want too much stuff sitting everywhere because the thing is with each of these tasks being um, or projects whatever I want to call it with them being pages I can open them up and I can um, have notes here like I was just showing and I showed how you can add text but you can also add like that's toggle but that's not really what I was thinking about yeah like toggle heading so let me do like a toggle heading, I don't like the huge font, but toggle heading three, let's just say. And then I'll say like meeting notes, or it could be meeting 130. Like you could do it however you want. And then within that, um, blah, 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 meeting notes, meeting suck. <laughs> And then it can be closed, it can be opened. And so then it can be a whole other one meeting, hopefully not meeting every day, but it can be a whole other one right below it that um, has that stuff. Um, this here could be like the to-do list just associated with this project. And so I can just press these little dots and I can turn this into a toggle. And it can just toggle down. So it's so many ways that you can do things on here. Um, but that's kind of the game plan. And I just need to hook up some of the images. I'm going to do that tomorrow because it is late. Um, That's the end of my February prep getting my life together video. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back soon. Bye.